All right, welcome back. My name is Literally Dead, and I have another team for you all. A solo cane team for Corruption Chapter 8-10. The relics I'll be using will be the Insignia Relic, Cross, and Staff Relic. The altars I'll be running will be 10 Blacksmith, 10 Mage, and 5 Greed. Let's do it. So, I actually had this video planned for a good while now, except when I had it, um, I think Estia came out, and I was like, oh, I gotta make an Estia video. And then I kind of put it on the back burner, and I just made two other videos, I forgot about it. And I saw it again, I was like, oh, I was gonna do it. And then Balder came out, and I was like, oh, I gotta milk this, right? Balder is just too good. So, here it is now, sorry for the delay. Um, yeah. Let's just talk about it. When forging equipment, I tried to get the 30% mana one so that he can use his ability quicker. So that's going to be the priority. You also want to try to get like bows and staffs so his ability can last longer. His second awaken ability, uh, he can use his ability over and over and over again as long as he kills someone with it. However, it gets weaker over time. Well, if I get him a bunch of staffs, then he'll be unstoppable. That's why I gave him the blacksmith altar, so I can roll as many staffs as possible. I also chose Kane for this video because I kind of like the vampire Kane skin. And I'd avoid giving Kane swords since the more he uses his ability, the better. And that sword slot could have been used for another bow or staff. And as usual with these solo teams, especially for chapter 8, it's not particularly difficult. I'm just showing you like the team setup. The form obviously doesn't change, you just put it on the cross spot or on the side. Doesn't just depends on the, the team, I guess. You'll see that a lot of these 8-10 teams are very similar to each other.
Okay, boss time. Kane with his awakened ability is really good at dealing with a bunch of units, but not with only one. It shouldn't be a problem since this chapter is really, really easy, and his uh, ability does a lot of damage anyways, so he should be able to kill it pretty quick. By the way, the form doesn't change, obviously, you, you should know that by now. Like I said, that was easy. Well, I'm going to do the bonus challenge now, and while I'm doing that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to like and subscribe, or Kane will break my arm. He currently has me in, in a chokehold, and will not, I'm not let go unless you subscribe right now. Later.